Today we're going to be taking a look at the light machine gun in Fallout New Vegas. This one has been requested quite a bit. This one is a really cool weapon and this one is generally going to be a late game weapon that you get in the game because there's not really a whole lot of light machine guns. Enemies like never really have this. Super mutants can carry it at high levels. I think they're the only enemy type that can actually carry around the light machine guns. I don't think I've seen this on anybody else. And there is at least one location that I know of where you can get a light machine gun. However, that is in the quarry with the death claws and it's right next to the mother death claw. So good luck getting that early on if you want to try to grab it. If you're going to be trying to fight the death claws, that is very, very difficult. But you can get a light machine gun out of that, which is pretty cool. So the light machine gun requires 100 guns to use and 8 strength. It is a very hefty weapon, as you would kind of expect for a weapon like this. This one does 21 damage per shot, which is fairly high for a 5.56 gun. That's not bad at all. That's similar to other rifles that shoot the same round as this, like the service rifle. This one does a massive 252 damage per second. That can be up to even more depending on the ammo type and the perks that you have. So DPS is where this thing really shines, which is fantastic. This one does 21 crit damage on hit, same as its regular damage, pretty normal. Has a low crit chance like most of these automatic weapons at 0.06. Not too surprising there, basically all the automatic weapons are like this with a few exceptions. Then this one only costs 18 action points for some odd reason. The light machine gun is surprisingly good in a VATS build. I don't know why that is, but it is. So if you want to be using a VATS build, try this one out. It's really, really strong for a VATS build. This one has a 1.5 spread, which is actually not too bad for a full auto weapon like this. It's still fairly accurate, and this can actually be more accurate if you want to load the match rounds in. We'll talk about that when we get to ammo. This has a 90 round magazine capacity. However, that can be increased with an extended magazine going up to 200 rounds, which is an extreme amount of bullets for this thing and makes it so the sustain fire is really crazy with it. This weighs 15 weight, so fairly heavy, but not the most heavy weapon in the game. And this has a really high item health at 800, so it doesn't break super fast either, which is all around really good. For the general pros of the light machine gun, this one does have really high damage per second, as you would absolutely hope that it would. It has a great ammo type. The 5.56 round is one of the most versatile rounds in the entire game, if not the most versatile round in the entire game. And it also has a really large magazine, which makes it so the sustain fire from this thing is pretty crazy. It's also insanely good against fast moving targets like Kazdors, because you can just spray this right at them and you'll rip them right apart like a submachine gun. But this thing holds way more rounds than any of the submachine guns. Uh, even the fully modded out submachine guns don't come close to this, even with the base magazine, let alone with the giant extended magazine that it gets. The major con to this one, and really the only con, is that it's rare. I guess you could also say it's kind of heavy, 15 weight is fairly heavy, and if you're playing on the hardcore difficulty, you're going to want to carry around a lot of bullets. So that does make it kind of heavy, but it's not the most heavy gun in the game. The rarity is going to be the main con against this, where you're probably going to have to just buy this weapon from like the Gunrunners, and that's not such a big deal, but it won't be showing up right away at the Gunrunners. You will need to wait until you're like level 20 or 30, whenever the heck these show up at the Gunrunners. This does have quite a few perks that help it though too. Grunt actually helps this one, so you get more damage with it, which makes this gun absolutely insane with Grunt. It's similar to like the 45 SMG or All-American that are already really strong guns, or the Survival rifle all of these that are already really strong guns that get even stronger thanks to that so that's really good heavyweight does affect this since it's over 10 weight so you can cut this in half and it goes down to seven and a half weight that's pretty cool pack rat for just carrying around more ammo if you're playing on the hardcore difficulty if you're not you don't have to worry about that and vats perks really help out with this too if you want to go with math wrath action boy action girl they're really strong for this particular weapon too. As for ammos, you actually have quite a few with the light machine gun. You have the standard 5.56 round. These ones are just regular damage and the most common round that you're maybe gonna find for these. 5.56 is fairly common. Most vendors sell it in high quantities, so you can buy a lot of it. You have the 223. 223 you can buy in the miscellaneous section or sometimes you can just buy it in the ammo section from vendors. You can buy it in bulk too. This does less damage to both the target and to the gun. That's pretty good. You have armor piercing rounds. These ones are really, really strong with the light machine gun since you can actually stockpile a lot of them. They punch through 15 armor and they only nerf your damage slightly. Really good against most enemies. You have the hollow point rounds, give you extra damage, but give the enemy extra armor. Really good against soft targets, not the best against heavy targets. Surplus rounds, which you can buy in bulk as well. These ones give you more damage, but they break your weapon much faster. I really wouldn't recommend that you load service rounds into the light machine gun. It'll break it really, really fast and that's just not as good. Plus, by the time you're getting to the light machine gun you probably won't need to be buying surplus rounds because you can just buy the regular rounds in such large quantities and then you have the match rounds you can make this with the hand loader perk this makes it so you get a little bit more damage and your gun is more accurate that's pretty good that's actually really helpful for the light machine gun since it's not the most accurate weapon 
and the accuracy buff does actually help this quite a bit. For an overall rating on my tier list for the light machine gun, I'd probably put this one right up into S tier. It's really good at its job. It's really good for a light machine gun roll. It does really well in most jobs. It's exactly what you would want for a light machine gun. It's high sustain fire. It's fairly common ammo, actually quite common ammo. It rips through just about everything. Your only real downside is that it's rare and repairing it could be a little bit of an issue if you don't have like weapon repair kits or jury rigging. If you have either of those, it's not such a big deal though. The modified version of this, I don't think really separates it that much from the regular light machine gun. It's just that you have more sustained fire. So it would just stay in S tier. So I'm not gonna put another graphic up there cause the regular version is good. The upgraded version is just slightly better than it, so that's really cool. Even the 90 rounds in the gun does take a while to go through, and if you're fighting things like Kazdors, you'll probably be able to mow through all of them before you would need to reload anyway, with few exceptions in certain areas, or if you have like what I'm doing in the background where you have like 10 times the amount of enemy spawns. Then the 200 rounds is actually quite impactful and even better for a weapon like this, so that's pretty awesome. So would I recommend the light machine gun? Yeah, absolutely. It's really cool. It's really fun even if you're not going to the guns build. I love taking this on like a melee or an unarmed build and just spraying it at enemies until I can get close and then beat them up with whatever I'm using. So tell me your thoughts on the light machine gun. How do you enjoy it? Seems like a lot of people really enjoy this one because this one was recommended quite a lot. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye everybody.